Hello, welcome again to our Paul Blog Garden Diary Walk. This explain a wee bit about my videos just before I go on that the I use a tiny little old video camera with a flip out screen and it's not always easy for me to frame perfectly because I'm trying to watch where I'm going and watch this little tiny screen at the same time. And to add to the, the difficulty of seeing the screen, it's it's a lovely bright sunny day and I can hardly see the screen or the image that's on the screen. So I'm sorry if I don't always frame perfectly. However, having explained that, it, it's a beautiful day and I just had to do a video with the erythroniums really out. This is close to where I actually started my last video and it just shows you how it's come on since then. So we've got all sorts of erythroniums. There's an erythronium californicum type seedling here. Possibly a seedling off of white beauty. With the, It'll have the red. This is where I struggle. There we go. The red centres. And down there's the white ones. These are Many of these are just self-seeding, although the, there is many ha-ha over there. And then Revolutum galore, seeding around into the paths. And we'll, you'll see that as a common feature as I walk around the garden. The anemone ranunculoides. And there's the wee ranunculus ficaria or ficaria, whatever they call it nowadays. I don't mind these. You know, when you think about it, it gives the same decorative effect as the anemone. And some of the cowslips and primroses, they are out as well. So we'll walk around and just see. As I say, I have to go carefully with the path because there's a, a mass of seedlings in it. You can't avoid standing on some of the very little ones. But in the shady areas, things are not moving so quickly. There's the nice trilliums. There's quite a lot of trilliums out as well. But as we come round here, it's just quite interesting if we just come down and stop here. We've got some. This is a Creighton Cover Girl, one of our own named hybrids, sitting next to this beautiful dark hybrid. Similar sort of hybrid. Again, it's a, a Revolutum hybrid, possibly crossed with a Californicum, the same as Cover Girl. But you, you get a whole range of these in, in shades. And there's some primroses in there. But as we come round, the, you'll see up the path all the the noise in the background. If you're hearing that, the same. They've had the, getting some tree work done in a garden just down the road, and that's them got a big shredder in to shred the the trimmings if that noise is getting picked up occasionally. So this is, this this will thicken out, it's just starting to come this area here. It's in shade as you can see. There's Trillium grandiflorums in there. A plant that really doesn't mind being in in shade. But I won't dwell too much there, we'll go around and see some of the ones that are in the sun. So all the pink that you're seeing in the front of this area here, these are all cover girl, creating cover girl. But very typically in the, we've got them appearing in the paths. And this is next to the wall that we spoke about in the last video with the wee Trillium rivalis. 
But if I come right down along the self-seeding colonies, you'll see down here all the tiny seeds just germinating from last year and then slightly different ages of leaves erythronium leaves when you see markings on the leaves that's at least a third year old the, the, the markings really don't develop until about the third year it's often the fifth year from seed before you see them but this is a really nice little self-seeding colony of, erith of an erythronium revolutum that originally came from Lake Cowichan in Vancouver Island from around the, that area and it, it's really nice it stays quite distinctively small usually single flowered I've just seen up here I move have to watch my feet so much under my feet and this we'll see again this is this is another of our own hybrids this this is Craigton cream which is a a hybrid with again possibly Californicum or something bit and I've forgotten the other one that it's a hybrid of at the moment I'll tell you in a second that's what happens as you get older you start to forget names but let's stick with the it, Heleny it's a Heleny Californicum hybrid probably but they are lovely and, and, and small and dark and when we get into the shade There's coming up in there you can see a, a little cluster coming up through the undergrowth Trillium hibersoni. And I'm coming here to look at the Erythronium americanum just starting to open today. They need a fair heat more so than the others. Erythronium americanum needs a bit of warmth and sunshine to open. Masses of leaves, but then clusters of flowers in set areas. But we're not at the peak flowering. There's a lot more to come. This is the shady area. So this is always going to be a bit behind. The paler anemone pallida is the cross between the ranunculoides we saw down there and Nemorosa. But then we come round and you can see how they grow just just as I pointed out the, and grow the in the wall over there. Here we have erythroniums seeding into the wall. Do I see dense canis leaves there? The dense canis have gone over mostly. It all down around my feet, everywhere I look around the path, the erythronium. Upstairs, some more Trillium Rivali and a Trillium. Erectum or could be ashy type. They're all muddled up in the garden here. Rhododendron dendrocaris matches very well with the Erythronium revolutums. This uh, we've just we've missed, but here's a here's one just going over Erythronium japonicum. They've mostly gone over. And then up here we've got these little dark ones coming with the Jeffersonia it's just starting to open so let's go around that site so we get a better look of these we come around here we can see the more Erythronium hibersoni. This group there and another little colony seeding around up here. Now I'm trying to 
see what I'm showing you. Watch where I'm standing and not cast a shadow on the subject either. So. And up here, is, although it's very bright and sunny, the sea is just down, if I stand up, you won't quite see it, but in the distance down there, the sea is just there. And there's a great bank of har, as we call it, sea mist, and the wind's coming off the sea. And the North Sea's at its coldest. It's colder now than at any other time of the year. And when we get that east wind coming, although it's, we've had some lovely sunny days, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, the temperature's struggling to get out of single figures. It really is. I'm feeling a chill in the wind as I'm going around. So we, we've got this space where we've got the, some of the Corydalis still hanging on. And added to that, we've got these little Americanums flowering all about here. The Jeffersonia is just starting to come out. So you've got Jeffersonia dubia and Jeffersonia bifilla, so the, the sort of twin leafed one. So an, Asi an Asian Jeffersonia and, and an American one, growing quite happily in similar conditions. Up here again we've got more, lots and lots of the, the wee Trillium rivales and Hibersonii growing here under the Looking real good here, and here's the other little woodlanders popping through. And a nice group of tripper, Hibbers and I, Rivales. Here's some of the Erythronium sibericum complex in here. Quite a bunch of them in there, more of them there. The wee with the, the, this wee fella, by the way, the anemonella. And this is a, a hybrid, not one of our own making, but that we were given. This is the Erythronium ardovi bliss. It's a Hendersoni hybrid, a very nice Hendersoni hybrid. Up the back behind me again, in the cooler, more shaded, not so shaded at the moment, but doesn't get the sun very much and not until later. But a wee bit behind, the buds are just start. the first buds are just coming out. But it is so much fun going around and exploring to see what we find as we walk around the garden stepping carefully from slab to slab so we don't crush something under our feet here again we've got the erythronium Revolutum. Many introductions we've made of the Revolutum, so they come from all over and um, all over the up and down the west coast of America and into the mountains from uh, British Columbia up in the north, Vancouver, all the way down to California, all that region. It's where they come. So they're, they're all interbred, but interestingly that little one stays quite distinctive from seed. I like the trilliums. They go well. There's lots of more erythroniums as you can see to come.
And just the greens, as I've pointed out before, when they get the sun, the greens are lovely. And the, and the combinations of the different plants and the foliage, the epimediums. Here's another group of trilliums. So we've got grandiflorum types and the um, albidum types. There's trillium erectum types. I am shading that one. <laughs> and then up the shaded there's the anemone nemorosa. And the colour combinations, so you've got the, the pink of the erythroniums, the pink of the cardamons, and then picked up in the pink of the, the rhododendrons above us. And all along the path, again, between the slabs, these plants put themselves in there. More trilliums. It's just so lush at the moment. As we enjoy the, the nice weather under the high pressure and although it's cool, it is lovely to enjoy this. And the forecast suggesting next week it's going to be under low pressure and even the possibility of some snow coming. I'm just seeing here some more trilliums here. Interesting to compare the different seedlings, the colour variations we can get. And there's a whole range of these erectum types. Are they just forms or hybrids? They're all from seed and they do mix up. There's a whole cluster of them there coming through, not opened yet. And if we move up into the smaller bed, it's here we've got erythroniums seeding in. All these, all these are seeded in. And then turning round, we see the little area imperialis. Looking so majestic. You can see there that the acers, the leaves are starting to come out. You're just seeing that first haze. So it appears the hellebores, of course, even though the the flowering parts have gone over, the bracts remain to give it this flowery effect. Lots more trilliums, the colchicum leaves. But if we come over here to the erythronium plunge beds, where we do much of the propagation from it, just planting them from here, they go up into the garden. Here they come to be selected, so that the big pink, some of the stock plants of Crate and Cover Girl. There's, there's Joanna, there's Susanna, there's Irene, and then a whole batch of hybrids that I haven't named. So you've got two Erythronium Tuluminense hybrids next to Tuluminense itself. Some lots yet to come out. And it is, it's a lovely scene, although difficult conditions. 
I would prefer to be filming in high white clouds, which would get a flatter, less contrasty view. But if we come around here, there's more frames with the different dicentras, baskets of Trillium Rivali. Let's get out of this side. You can see the different colour forms of Trillium Rivalis from coming from seed. And then finally coming past my pet dandelion. Another plunge bed where we can see a few of the other different ones. So we've got a Erythronium Sibiricum complex here. A whole bunch of them, they vary. There's several baskets of them. Here I can see some of the yellow Erythronium grandiflorums. Trying to get it to lighten itself. There we go. Just by moving around a bit. And up here, of course, the Hendersonis. So I guess that's an almost walk around some of the erythroniums. There are so many more and I may well, if I get good weather conditions and better light conditions, go around again at some point and look at more. There's so many things. People keep asking me to do, say more about the bonsai, which I'll maybe do in a video sometime. But for now, it seems like a good place to to come and stop this video today. So thanks very much for being with me. Take care and good gardening. See you next time.